injury, comes back in the second half and wins. Oh, but yeah. after that, they collapse. You were expecting a huge year. He was my MVP pick for the NFL, too. Speaking <laughs> of coach-player relationships, <laughs> back to the Lakers. <laughs> Much has been made of the relationship between Luke Walton and LeBron James. Amid reports, James's associates haven't been happy with Walton as the head coach. But Luke told TMZ, quote, LeBron and I get along just fine. Chris, do you believe? Well, there you go. TMZ gets all, all, the, all the facts. Well, first right. of all, of course, what's Luke going to say when TMZ corners him? However, I, I do think face-to-face, man-to-man, they're fine. LeBron does it in Cleveland, in Miami, here with the Lakers. You know, he's moody sometimes. He may have bad body language, but he doesn't do the dirty work. Like, what are the reports? His associates, that's... You find out as an organization what LeBron thinks by talking to his associates. And that's how the word is. It's not like LeBron sit, was sitting down with David Griffin in Cleveland coming up with trade scenarios. Let's go after this guy. Or, you know, obviously he'll have maybe a different relationship with Magic to some degree. But I, I believe, Luke, I'm sure when he and LeBron interact, that it's, it's good. I, I, I would agree with you. And based upon the people I know, they say the exact same right. thing, that LeBron tries to do what Luke wants. You know, he doesn't. The, the previous reports of him blowing off play calls. Like, no, if he sees something, he does it. If not, he does what the coach wants. But I do think that the point you made is a good one, and the more we've seen LeBron operate, with the exception of when he, he bumped shoulder to shoulder with Eric Spolstra in the first year, for the most Wasn't part... Wasn't that an accident? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was also an accident when he just happened to mention to Pat Riley, hey, you ever think about coming back and coaching, right? And, and then Pat Riley kind of stood up to him quietly and said, no. That's what have, you need. Have, that's what, that's what right. you need. But that's not what this organization has done. And I think it's, it's fascinating. Look, Michael Jordan pressed a lot of buttons. He did not like management. He did not like the trades they made. He lost it when they traded. He didn't like Charles. the triangle when, at first. They didn't like the triangle. He like Charles Oakley. You're not trading away Charles Oakley, my protector for medical Bill Cartwright. Didn't like that. But um, he, he did not fracture the team in the way that LeBron has fractured this team, where I they believed before injury that he was all in on them and they were all in on LeBron, that they were going to work kind of together to ultimately add a free agent. And then once the leak started that you had the one where his associates told you he could play if it's the playoffs. Like, wait, he's not playing. He's not working out around us. The workout times kind of changed. Um, that all of a sudden they started to think, wait, forget our interaction. Whatever he does behind the scenes is how he really feels. And there's a lack of trust there. And that's going to have to be earned, I think, by the young guys. They're, he's going to have to earn some of their trust as, as a teammate and a friend in order to get them past this finish line and get them to the playoffs. LeBron can get down if he doesn't think he has enough help. You know, I, I, it wasn't like that initially. When he was in Cleveland his first go-round, he was all in on that team. We know they didn't have great players around him, but they won 66, they won 61, and he sees we get bounced in the second or the third round of the playoffs. He, then he starts getting superstars and winning championships. And so now he believes that I know what it takes to win a title, and if he doesn't think he has it, he can sulk. And that, I think when he was sitting there watching them play, and they're 6-12 and 12 without him, or 6-11. and 11, You know, he missed right. a game since he got back. Uh, I, I think he lost some faith in them. Not, not that that's right, because you as the leader, you can't sulk. And if you're the best player in the world, you have to feel like I can carry these guys. So he may have to fight some of his own instincts to, to be the leader that they need and not sulk for these last 25 and, games. And, 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 Sarah, that honestly is a little bit about what, a little bit of what Scotty Pippen was talking about, where do, do I you like, look, Scotty Pippen, it sound, some of the shots sound a little bit more personal and that he's supporting Jordan right. or whatever. Well, but if you talk, Scotty got calls when he when he said like LeBron was ahead of Jordan and stuff like that <laughs> well, years ago. Right. And then like, look, you got <laughs> Isaiah, you got Isaiah, the narrative change. Well, then you got Isaiah who's on team team LeBron because Jordan and him hate each other and Jordan kept him right. off the dream team. Right. So there, there's there's some baggage there. But when you start to unpack it, this is what the guys around, this is what Kobe's people will talk about. This is what Jordan's people talk about. Like, dude, if it was Kobe, if it was, if it was LeBron, if it was Kobe, if it was uh, Magic, if it was Jordan, they're going to fire every bullet in their gun, in their arsenal, in order to win. Whereas LeBron does have a tendency to shut it down, sometimes midseason, to get a coach well, fired, to get did, a player move. Think about what he did last year. I mean, I think we often overlook with the, the tremendous legendary playoff run we saw. He sulked all through January yes. he until we got to the trade deadline. Yeah, he sucked, and I think he was coasting too. Like, look, we talked about it earlier. 
16th season, all those playoff games, all those Olympics, like, he's not he's not what he used to be. You, you see it mainly on the defensive end, but he has to coast to be able to be as explosive offensively. But, yeah, some of it's mental as well. But I think Luke gets a lot of the blame, given I agree. what has happened this season undeservedly. Luke should not be, like, the thought that he would have been fired at the trade deadline or, you know, at the All-Star break was, was terrible. He, he is being made and will be made, ultimately, probably, yeah. the scapegoat yes. for yes. LeBron, for the front office, the young players. Not getting enough shooting, no question. Right. Speaking of the offseason and what happens, we're going to move on to free agency talk. And two of the biggest targets this summer are Kyrie and KD. And rumors have it that they could join forces with the Knicks. These rumors have heated up after a behind-the-scenes video was released of them talking at the NBA All-Star Game. Chris, uh, you buying that these two will team up with the Knicks? Yeah, with Kyrie, all, I read his list. Video. He was like... Look, Kevin Knox, Dennis Smith Jr., <laughs> we in the East, we gonna be nice. Boston won't be the same without me. And he turns and wings at the camera phone. That's what right. right in front of him. No, but I, I, it's very realistic. Uh, look, I'm not saying Kyrie's out of Boston, but I, I do think a lot of it depends on how this season ends. If they go out in the second round, and they play, right now they're scheduled to play Milwaukee, you know, assuming the top seeds win. They will play Milwaukee in the second round, and I think Milwaukee, in my book, would be favored. So if they go out in the second round, is Kyrie or the other young players going to be able to accept that, hey, we went further last year in LeBron's East, even though it's better now, the still perception is it's wide open because LeBron's gone. We went farther last year. We beat Milwaukee last year. Now we have Kyrie. We lost to them that could push him out the door. And while there are people, I agree with you, Doug, I don't think he's going to the Lakers. But there are people in the league that think it's either the Knicks or the Lakers. I think it would definitely be the Knicks. He's from the greater New York area in West Orange, New Jersey. Uh, and I don't think KD would go to New York by himself. I don't think he should go to New York by himself. And he and Kyrie are close, as we saw, but they're, they're close friends as well. They will be talking. And here's the, the scary thing. If they, if they, those two want to go to New York and New York gets the first pick or maybe even the second pick, you could offer that for Anthony Davis. Obviously, with Kyrie and KD, your timetable changes. You don't necessarily want to wait on a Zion Williamson to develop or whatever you think he needs to do. Maybe you just go get Anthony Davis, and you talk about a big three of Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, could, and Anthony money Davis wise, in New could York. they do that? Oh, yeah, they could work it out. They could work it out. You can do anything. You have to yeah. shed the rest of the team. And Dennis Smith Jr., by the way, goodbye. Yeah, right. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy New Orleans You're and right. some, some beignets. Because um, I, don't, I don't think Dennis Smith Jr. and Kyrie work together that anyway. Really I mean, uh, truth be told. Uh, could it happen? Yeah. But, boy, there's a lot of... If ifs were fifths, we'd all be drinking, right? I mean, there, there's a lot that has to happen there. So it has to... Uh, those guys don't know. They don't know. One of the reasons I think Kevin Durant is a little bit tired of being asked about it is because, if honestly, he's got no idea. Right. And like you say, both of them. I've got no idea that. because I don't know how this is going to end. We all assume the Golden State Warriors are going to win the championship, but the path to getting there, what's that like? Do they actually get there? What would happen if they lost? What would happen if they win? Like, there's a lot of scenarios. And then you have Boston. Like, yeah, they could play Milwaukee, but all those teams, you know, in the middle are separated by a game. They could very easily get to the Eastern Conference Finals again and get to the NBA Finals if they figure some things out. So, and, and how is he motivated if they do well? How is he motivated if they do poorly? And are you betting on David Fisdale, who everybody likes and was part of those Miami championship teams, but he ain't been the head coach in winning anything, right? It was before the collapse last year in Memphis, and now he this year. He had a nice little run that one year in Memphis. With, uh, yes, what did he say on yeah. the? Yeah, take that, take that, for, take that, take data. that for data. <laughs> take that for data. <laughs> yeah, but then he also then, then he also stopped getting along with Marcus Saul, and that's why he lost his job. Yeah, and they start, yeah. right, and that's why they yeah. start. So, like, look, I like Fizz. He's, uh, I think Fizz is a good coach. Everybody thinks he's a good right. dude, and I think he's a pretty good coach. But you got Brad Stevens. You got like kind of bird in hand is better than one in in the bush. So let's see if Brad Stevens impresses him in the off in the postseason, where he's like, whoa, I'm, I'm in on Brad because it's. You know, playoff Brad is like playoff Flacco. It's a little bit higher level than everybody else. I, I, look, I, anyone who says they know right now, no, I believe knows. is I believe is lying. They just they want their opinion heard because those guys don't know. They may think it's a cool idea, 
but cool ideas and does it actually happen? There's a big gap between the two. Even talk around the league, when you talk to GMs and executives for other teams, they're speculating because yes. nobody knows for sure what these guys are going to do. And as much as I, I said yesterday, I would love to see KD try to win four straight in Golden State, assuming they win this year, and then go to New York or something. But four straight is tough. There's